Having been an accountant for the past eight years now, I can't help but think how different my journey to accountancy would have been had I studied a related degree in accountancy. One thing I do know is, if the steps I took helped me become an accountant without a related degree, then it can help you as well. So today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about whether it is possible to become an accountant without having a related degree. Now, this is a common question I get a lot, particularly from graduates who are looking to transition into the accountancy field, but they're worried about this because they don't have an accountancy degree or even from those who are looking to switch careers into being an accountant and they're worried about their background because it's not from a finance or an accountancy based field. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my journey, my background into accountancy, how I got into accountancy, exactly what I did whilst I was in uni that helped me actually transition into being an accountant and the things I did when I got out of uni that I think really helped through my journey into being an accountant despite not having a related degree. guys so you're obviously watching this video because you're thinking about becoming an accountant and you're worried about the fact that you don't have a related degree well the first thing I will tell you is that accountancy is actually one of those very few professions that actually does not require you to have a related degree it's very much unlike careers such as those in the medical field or in the dentistry field where you have to have studied particular subjects in order to actually work in those professions. So being an accountant doesn't mean that you have to have studied accountancy at university. I'll tell you exactly why this is. Accountancy is one of those professions that a lot of your success is actually determined by the transferable skills that you're able to bring into that profession. By transferable skills, I mean things like your communication skills, your leadership skills, your decision making skills, your problem solving abilities. So those are the things that really matter when it comes to you being successful in getting a job as an accountant. If you're able to show this and prove this to any employer out there, you will stand a very good chance in actually securing your first job role as an accountant. So let's move into the things that I actually did whilst I was at uni that I think helped me transition into the role of being an accountant despite not having a related degree. So the first thing I did whilst I was at university was, was I sought to actually apply and secure a lot of internships during my time at university. My internships were all finance related internships, okay, I secured them in my first year at university and my second year at university. So I did, I went out of my way to try and secure different types of work experiences, generally through internships in different companies that offer them in a bid to try and gain a little bit of experience before I was actually graduating from university. I would strongly suggest that you seek out things like internships and different types of work experiences that can help you develop some knowledge of what to expect if and when you do become an accountant. It's also good to get into the practice of trying to seek out internships as early as possible because it will actually show prospective employers that you're willing and determined to learn a lot about the field. An employer is much more likely to take you far more seriously when comparing job applications from other prospective applicants when they see that you have actually done some kind of background experience, some kind of background work to actually gain some knowledge, gain some understanding of what exactly it takes and it requires to be an accountant. I said earlier on I would talk about the things I did after university that also helped. Okay, so after university, I took the initiative to actually start studying for the ACCA by myself. So this was self-studying and it was obviously self-funded. I think this really helped me because 
as I mentioned earlier on, it's all about being able to show a prospective employer how your willingness to learn on the job, your willingness and your dedication to the accountancy field and profession itself. You can do this in different ways. You can do this by starting to learn and understand the qualification by yourself, by paying for exams through your own funds if you can afford it, or you can also do this by seeking out different work experiences like I mentioned earlier on. Even if those work experiences are in fields such as charities or even your local accountancy practice. When I tell you every little helps when it comes to experience. So do not underestimate the value any little experience both relevant and what you think may be irrelevant and also any little qualifications that you can add to bring to the table particularly if those qualifications are of course like I mentioned before one of the relevant accountancy qualifications okay this really shows your dedication and willingness to the field contrary to what a lot of people actually believe a lot of what you need to work as an accountant you actually learn it on the job okay so a lot of it is through on the job work experience this is another reason why it's not the end of the world if you don't have an accountancy related degree okay and if you're coming from a different background so maybe if you're switching careers for instance as long as you can show that in your current career you're able to show good communication skills good leadership skills good decision making skills good problem solving abilities and you have that willingness and dedication to the field i really don't think you will have any problems whatsoever in actually securing a job role as an accountant i hope that through watching this video you have a better understanding of exactly why you don't actually need an accountancy based degree to be an accountant if you have any other questions regarding the application process and what it takes to be an accountant leave a comment down below if you'd like me to do a video on the step-by-step -step process in terms of making job applications as an accountant then again leave some comments down below and just comment job application do make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon so that you don't miss any notifications